Hey, what's up, everyone? We did react right here in Tango reacting to Sans versus Mewtwo, Undertale versus Pokemon. Now, I don't know what's going on right here with the background in the desert field, but I'm not going to care because it's animation. Really, what I'm talking about. But anyway, Sans versus Mewtwo. I really want Mewtwo to win, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry to those Sans people right there, but and I know that we're all getting sick, of, kind of sick and tired of Sans keep reappearing with the same information. But, yeah, it's pretty much what the fans keep asking for, so I feel really bad for Animage Rewind, wondering if at least he had a month off with, with Sans fight, so, yeah. I'm wondering how this is going to go, ladies and gentlemen, so we, let's just take a look right here. As always, make sure to go check the original video, I'll be right back here to watch it again, okay? Okay. <laughs> And we'll go back. I'm back, bitches! What? I'm a tree wire. Just to kill the Thunder Man, just to get rid of the Avengers, uh, Face Off, Control War, Battle vs. Transformers, Control War. Mario vs. Dano, Ruby vs. That Girl from Zolier, I'm looking at you to me and Freefall. What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 150... Oh, yeah, I'm wondering if YouTube's gonna take revenge on Sans for killing Pikachu. And if you are new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by... It's me! I can't believe you put me through animating this episode, Rewind. I know you promised no sands for January, but seriously, the first what? episode in February is going to be another sands fight? Well, February is the month of love, and yeah, this battle will feature a fight between the ultimate Pokemon Mewtwo and Sans the Skeleton. I'm going Mewtwo, ladies and gentlemen. It was obvious enough. Fight Club's 153rd round of fight. Seriously, like a moment for fight six. You really love Sans, don't you? As you said, February is the month of love. What do you. No. no. Let's suppose that you're writing a. What do you mean by this? Is Sans your Valentine or something? Good grief, no. I was implying that I love supporting my fans with their number one requested character. Oh my god. Well, me and you both know that this next segment is going to be anything but new Sans information. You've literally jacked this poor skeleton off about a mm, hundred times now, give or take 85. Whoa, whoa. It's way less than a hundred, and while That's true. you can't say anything new about Sans, a little review wouldn't hurt. Really? A little review wouldn't hurt maybe the second time? Or the I'm guessing there's still- I'm guessing the Sans Oral X is there. Can you gargle down? I, I can't accept this- I'm guessing there's gonna be like, kind of like, a little bit more like Death Owl now being- Maybe I can have some type of understanding of Sans this. being like, um, with a boomstick right there. Sans is not a bastard. Do you even know the definition of a bastard? Look it up. It is literally an illegitimate child who does not know their legitimate parents. This is exactly what Sans is, at least I think, because I don't think I am talking about any daddy issues in the game. Now admit that you love him so Okay, now he's trying to be... He's just forcing to be good sick now. Honest, I have no affection for Sans. I don't even swing that way, bro. You really need to move on from this subject. I... You know what? I'll drop the argument easily. But don't tell me to move on from things. You are the one that needs to move on from the idea of Sans episodes in general. I'm not the problem here. <laughs> They're just... They're not even talking about Sans' information anymore, backstory. The Sans mess. Uh, look, this is just getting out of hand. Why don't we just discuss some of Sans' abilities? Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this one. <clears throat> sure. The skeleton has a funny bone for puns. He's got a skeleton amount of bones to throw at his opponents. 
and he has the spine for lifting the soles of his foes, and he's a bona fide boss in the Undertale game. That was really punny, bro, and with that in mind, overall, Sans is exactly what Sand Warlord X mentioned him to be. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of ads. Hey, Rewind, aren't you psyched <laughs> to discuss this next character? Dude, drop the puns. Those were for Sans only. This is Mewtwo now. Wow, you have to be kitten me. That must be... Enough! Enough sound for X. You're not boom sick. Stop trying to be boom sick. Talking ripoff. But fine. If you want to have a stale Mewtwo introduction, be my guest. Uh, thanks. Mewtwo is the ultimate Pokemon. He was born in a lab created by Dr. Fuji. This doctor did everything he could to try and resurrect his deceased daughter. Well, I just got some news from Seabrine's son telling me I can't say what I just said a few minutes earlier. Yes! Never you could just, you could just tell it to me in the video. Yeah, but funny? now I am, so it's whatever. You never just call out somebody claiming that they're pretending to act like someone else. Besides that being rude, do you have something you should do? How do I not supposed to know? It's basic, I'd say. None of that info is actually important to trait and ability. Not only did Mewtwo grow out of his own towards humanity, but he's also helped humanity quite a few times. That's a good point. Now that Mewtwo is changed, he has developed many useful abilities and attacks. That's true. Such as his signature ghost-type Shadow Ball and Psychic Telekinesis. The Shadow Ball deals great damage and has a 20% chance of lowering its target's special defense. Mewtwo also knows moves such as the Psycho Cut and Miracle Eye. The Miracle Eye can reset an opponent's evasiveness, and when he lands oh. his cut attacks, each hit has an increased critical hit ratio. All of that, and we oh. can't forget that Mewtwo is not just a mindful opponent, but is a physical power. He has the flight speed to surpass Earth's escape velocity, which clocks him at over 30 times the speed of sound, or at least 25,000 wow. miles. So Mewtwo has a speed advantage over sound. Boulders and metallic robots twice his size. Mewtwo has an attack range that can stretch entire continents, and with his mega evolutions, take everything you currently know about the guy and shift those thoughts into full gear. And if you think hey. that mega evolutions were just Nintendo's marketing ploy for X and Y, you're right. But <laughs> Mega Mewtwo X and Y aren't forms that you want to go against. If Mewtwo's base form is regarded as a heavy hitting powerhouse, it won't be hard to understand that these Mega forms are essentially double trouble. Did I just say that? Overall, Mewtwo is the ultimate psychic type Pokemon. He has extremely dangerous telekinetic and ghostly attacks that he has mastered over many years of combat. And now, let's get I ready think for the Mewtwo's gonna win, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to take place in Mewtwo's cave with no prep. Wait, you can have a cave? I don't know that. Alright, let's see how it's gonna go. I am the ultimate Pokemon. I will not lose to the likes of you. That's the guy going off the game. That is enough, you skeleton. Oh no. How dare you? And was that like the, the electric shield? 
which I said early on. So, yeah. Basically, I'm a dumbass. That's what I am. What a great way to start off the month. You did a neat job on that animation, San Warlord X. And also, special thanks to the Orange Diamond for playing the voice of Mewtwo. Orange Diamond? I think it goes without saying that it's always smart to start off the month with a bang, but whoever, whoever was foolish enough to cast the Orange Diamond as Mewtwo, and if any of you found the slightest enjoyment out of that, you might as well just subscribe. Hopefully you do subscribe, and now let's discuss why Mewtwo defeated Sans. Yeah, Rewind, you better get out of here before those really rare yet very salty Undertale fanboys come after you. It's for your own safety. Now leave this recording booth! <gasps> okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, that was so much easier than I thought. All right, I guess I'm just going to have to finish this on my own. Oh, wow. Folks, listen up. If you were honestly surprised by the ending of this matchup, I have no idea what you guys are surprised about. I could be nice and say that Sans might be more skilled and possibly smarter, but by anyone who knows the power of both of these characters, I know them. clearly understand that Mewtwo can do things that Sans just cannot compete with. Now while Sans does have some powerful magical attacks that can do some serious damage on Mewtwo, Mewtwo has attacks that can reach out to entire continents. It would only take one Dragon Ball ripoff attack to put the poor Ketchup yeah. down. Not only that, but Mewtwo also has the speed to break the Earth's escape velocity, which is more than enough to dodge anything Sans can throw at him. To add to this, it may even allow him to blitz Sans at some point. Mewtwo can also wow. cancel out a lot of Sans's telekinetic attacks with his more widespread telekinesis. The fact of the matter is, Mewtwo can do everything Sans can, but better. He was uh, created right. to be a perfect telekinetic killer cat. The most Sans had on him was his magical karmic retribution, but Mewtwo counters that with his recover. Mewtwo has a counter for all of Sans's attacks, including his teleportation with his almighty future sight. Unfortunately for Sans, oh. this was a fight he just couldn't put enough backbone into. Hold on, I forgot to grab my... Wait a minute, you don't care about my safety, you just wanted to take my hosting position. <laughs> Okay, look dude, the fact that you were dumb enough to fall for that gag in the first place is proof that the occurrence is your fault, Rewind. Don't go pinning your faults on me. 
I'm afraid that's true, actually. You got a point. And to be fair, you weren't wrong about Mewtwo. This Pokemon is just on another level in terms of actual attack potency and range. I guess you can say that Mewtwo should now be placed as Mew 1. Let's say more like good jokes. I should have ended the segment alone. It would have been better if I had done it alone. Bad jokes are still bad jokes, even if you were self-aware about them. Nah, uh, whatever, let's just move on. Now, if you want to see Mew and Mew 2 face Sans and Papyrus in a two-on-two -two rematch... I don't see that. Actually, I really don't see it. If this video gets 15,000 likes, there will be a rematch. Plus, don't forget... I can just be a two-on-one, actually. With Sans and Papyrus versus Mew 2. ...because the next fighters are going to be... I mean, it would be more fair. On the next episode of Cartoon... Again, I was... I'm really behind, so... Alright. Not so I know who they are. I really don't know much about I don't know much about Rainbow Mika really. Okay. stuff that I'm working on exclusively for CFC, come visit me on my Twitter at BTL Awesomeness and subscribe to me on YouTube at my channel, The Saiyan Warlord X, because sometimes I get lonely. I am the Orange Diamond. Alright. Well, I can't lie right there. That was something. I mean, I knew Mewtwo was gonna win, but Sans put up a good fight, really. But still, I feel like it would have been better. Also, if you're still watching, please don't put any angry comments. I just didn't know. My brother told me, and I just didn't know. I just didn't know, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? You wanna know why? Because I'm dumb. Anyway, please like, comment, subscribe, and like this up. I'll see you right back here next time. Luigi Jets, out.